that being said, without further ado, want to give up the goods. And so here, take out your phones, scan the investor mindset assessment. It's going to take you right to the site where you can, you can go ahead and take that assessment. You're going to get that report delivered directly to you. And so you, it's not even a, hey, once you call me, then, then you can have it. Nope, it's yours. Take the assessment. It'll be inbound. And then if you scan that QR code on the story brand script, it's going to pull up that script guide for you right then and there. It's yours to keep for forever. And then also wanting to make sure that if you want to schedule time, we've got 15, 30, 60 minute blocks that you can scan, get signed up and scheduled today. And, and we'll talk to you at no cost about what you've got going on with your business and how we can really help propel you into the place that, that you really want to get to and be. But we did have we did have three questions that I kind of want to front load. If anyone else has questions, feel free to, to throw them in. Um, but the first one is, and this one I, I think probably is better equipped for Lee. And the question really being, you know, the, you mentioned the entity we set up for uh, businesses. I heard that it was better to use an S corp and stay away from a C corp because of double taxation. From what I, I'm understanding now is that I may be overpaying um, at least forty thousand dollars in taxes for this. Did I get bad advice, or am I just uh, missing or misunderstanding something? No, you didn't get bad advice. When you, when you originally probably set up your S corporation, what you're trying to do is eliminate the need to pay self-employment tax or at least pay too much self-employment tax. And there was a double taxation issue prior to 2018. The problem is that that information is now dated, right? There are better strategies and better ways of dealing with overpaying taxes now that we're in the post-2018 world. Okay. Yeah, and I and I would I would agree with with the fact that they're uh, they're you're missing something, right? And it's just because stuff's changed, and yeah. and that's okay. And and one of the things I think that that we like just as much as saving people money is educating people. And so, what I would encourage you to do is go ahead go ahead scan that set up just 15 minutes, and we'd be happy to talk to you about it. Let's see here. So the next one we got is, it says, uh, currently I have a, a couple of firms, uh, a venture capitalists looking to buy my practice. Uh, I'm not really looking to sell, but I do own three locations. I'm listening to offers. My question is, can, can Exponential help me if I decide to accept an offer in the next six months or if I decide to wait three years? Do I have to find you? Um, how does that work? Yeah, the answer is yes. You know, when we did... Um, one of the big things that's going on in the industry, obviously, is consolidations, mergers, acquisitions. And one of the things we did at Exponential Equations is went through some rigorous training around exit planning. And so we are certified exit planners. And what that really means is helping people get their businesses ready to sell and then walking through the sales process. And I think one of the big misnomers is, hey, I'm ready to sell my practice. Now I'm going to take a look at making sure my valuation is what I want it to be. And that's the wrong time to do it, right? <laughs> yeah. Valuation should be um, increased prior to sale. And I would say at least three years prior to sale, because when you think about it, when someone's buying your practice, what are they buying? They're buying cash flows. They want to know that you're profitable and that the cash flows that you're bringing in, into your business are sustainable over the long term because they're making an investment. For those future cash flows. Well, they also want to know that your cash flows are historical, historical and sustainable. So if you come to the table and you've got great cash flow the year of sale, but the prior two years, yeah, not so good, that's really going to hurt your valuation, right? When you can come to the table and you have historically strong cash flows over a period of time and even growth in those cash flows, that's when you're getting the biggest, the biggest valuation. So I think for a business owner, you know, Growing your, your cash flows, your net profit, and your valuation, day you start your practice when you want to start working on that valuation, because that's what everybody's after. Okay, thanks, Lee. And the, the second part to the question is, um, if I don't sell to a group, how could I possibly sell this to other people within, within my practice, like associates, if they don't have the money? Yeah, and typically when they don't have the money, you really have two options available to you. One is you, you know, you you would actually finance the deal yourself as the owner. So you allow them to pay for it over a period of time. 
with net profits, with their own incomes. And, you know, they, they're, they're referred to as earn in models, right? Where they're earning into buying your practice through their own blood, sweat and tears. And so there's, there's ways to do it. It's, it, it um, is used quite often when a owner is selling to an associate. And we'd love to have those conversations with you because we, we've been through that several times. 15 minutes. All right, third question. So it sounds like your group does a little bit of everything. On this webinar, you talked about marketing, the economy, taxes, and investing. My main question is, is what's really different about you guys and, and where, like, where would somebody even start? Yeah, I think what's different about us is that, you know, when you look at the large corporations, right, and you've got several executives running the company, you've got people that can, can team up with the CEO to help them strategically figure out where they're going and get the right professionals in place to, you know, to actually um, create the strategy and then implement the strategy. And what, we're, what we want to do at Exponential Equation is say, look, we know you're a small business owner. We know you're on your own. We want to come in and team up with you to be that second or third executive to help you create strategy, create vision, and then implement that vision. Doesn't mean we're going to do all the work, but we have a network of people that we put together that we trust, that we know can do good work, that we know will have your best interests at heart. And we're going to quarterback that solution for you to make sure you not only have a plan that you have on paper, it gets implemented and you get the efficiency out of the plan. I think that's what makes us different. Yeah, I would agree. And, and I think, you know, a big distinction on like the starting point, right, is, is, yeah, I could, I could absolutely appreciate for a business owner to be like, wait, I'm going to overhaul like all of this stuff at once. And what I would say is that how we create roadmaps with our clients is it's highly customizable. And so it's really, and we, we also determine pacings. And so it's, you know, you got a life, right? And so like, what's, what's your life like, right? How important is, is this to you right now? How much time do you want to spend dealing on dealing with this, right? We're not going to be here and talk about creating patient experiences if we can't create, you know, business owner experiences as well. And so we're going to really start from the start, right? Triage it and say, you know, hey, if we can save you, you know, 15 grand on marketing, but $60,000 on taxes, let's start with the taxes, Right. And then we're done with that. We'll go clean up the marketing. But if we can, if it's vice versa, we'll start with the marketing. We'll go and get you some taxes. And so it's really a, a custom start point, just depending upon what's important to you, what you have going on in your life and, and the, the biggest opportunities that we have to be able to tackle. So that's a really great question. I would encourage you to, to, to scan the QR code and I would do probably either 30 or 60 minutes and we can connect with you a little bit more on that. But all right, I have asked for 15 minutes more um, than we originally signed on for. I appreciate it all more than each of you know. And, and really, um, this is the beginning, right? This is the beginning for a phenomenal year in learning and in educating ourselves and leveling ourselves up and improving ourselves as entrepreneurs and business owners. And I would just encourage you that if you, you really like this content, feel free to share it, forward the email, forward the link. We want to get this message out there and we want to have people learning and getting educated and just improving themselves holistically. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for, for attending and, and giving us your time and your attention. And, and I'll, I'll hand it off to you, Lee, for farewells. Yeah, and I, I just I just um, ditto that, Josh. Just want to thank everybody for their time and and you know in all sincerity, also say to each and every one of you out there, if you have questions, you have concerns, please call us. Please go and schedule time. You know, the, the biggest goal for Josh and I is to educate people and help them get to where they want to go, and that doesn't have to be at a cost to you. And what I mean by that is, talk to us. Let's figure out what we can do to help. And at the end of the day, of course, we'd love to earn your business and work with you. But at the same time, we're not holding anybody hostage. So again, thanks for your time tonight and um, have a good evening. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. And be on the lookout for follow-up emails just in case you missed any of these codes or anything or the recording. I'm going to get everything out to you in the next day or two. Thanks so much. And uh, we're Exponential Equations. And we hope that you guys keep coming and that we keep adding value.